In this video, we're going to learn about axes, and this is going to be really important for our accelerometer, our magnetometer, and our gyroscope to understand what's going on and why are the three values when we look at the data from the sensors. So I have my Pocket Lab uh, app up, and it's connected to this sensor. And if you'll notice on the accelerometer, there are three values for um, acceleration, x, y, and z. And this is because um, in three-dimensional space, we represent acceleration with um, three values, and we'll go into more detail. So if you click on the acceleration uh, sensor, you'll, you'll get uh, a graph of the um, acceleration being experienced by um, our sensor here. And what you'll notice is we have um, an X, Y, and Z component, and uh, they are color-coded with um, X being red, uh, Z being green, and Y being blue. And this, is, this corresponds to a special orientation on our sensor. So the, uh, the sensor is oriented uh, with the axes uh, in this direction. So when we see that we have a negative 1g of acceleration in the y direction, it's because gravity is acting on the sensor downward, and that's in the opposite direction of our axis. Now, if we were to turn the sensor over, we would reorient our axes, and now the direction of gravity would be pointed along the axis. Um, this corresponds to our blue y value. And you can see on the screen we have uh, 1g of acceleration. Now I'm going to turn Pocket Lab back upright, and uh, you can see how the components of acceleration change. Now why do we need three uh, numbers to represent acceleration? Well, we can move Pocket Lab in three dimensions. So we can uh, move it along the x-axis, and you can see the um, our, our red value change. We can move it along the y-axis, and you can see um, change there. And then we can also move it in the z-axis. You can see the green line change there. And my hands aren't super steady, so you also saw some change in the other axes. Now, this is important for representing motion in three dimensions, because uh, Pocket Lab uh, can can translate in any of these three directions. And we need all three values to represent the acceleration in three dimensions. Um, and then if we rotate the sensor with respect to Earth's gravity, we'll see how uh, the values change. So uh, watch, my, watch the red and the blue values. So if I can rotate this completely about the z-axis, which is the green one, we should only see changes in the red and the blue values. And we should see uh, the component of gravity correspond to the red x-axis as we rotate that down. So I'll rotate it very slowly so you can see what happens. You can see x is increasing while z is staying relatively um, stationary. And then once we get to the point where uh, x is pointing down, uh, we have 1g of acceleration in the x-axis and 0g's of acceleration in the y-axis. So using um, this uh, set of coordinates, um, set of axes, we can start to understand how um, Pocket Lab uh, represents uh, acceleration in three dimensions with an x, y, and z component. Thanks.